In this video, I take a brief look at iOS 16 Developer Beta 2. Let's have a look at what's new. So let's begin with the lock screen. You have a brand new filter for your lock screen images called Duotone. So of course you have natural studio, color backdrop, etc. Now though, you swipe over again and you'll find this new filter called Duotone. Now, when you tap the ellipsis button, you can actually change the color. And as you can see, it's basically, as the name alludes to, two different tones with a primary color of your choosing. So I think it looks pretty cool. What do you guys think about this? But that's not all. There's also another lock screen filter called Color Wash in iOS 16 Developer Beta 2. And similar to Duotone, you can go in and change the style color. And that's what it looks like. So it's more of a monotone look. Uh, with the color of your choice. What do you guys think about color wash? I personally prefer dual tone, but let me know what you think. Now, you've probably already seen it, but there is a brand new pinch to crop text hint for your images on your lock screen. So wait a little bit, you'll see right here, pinch to crop. So basically just helping the user to know that yes, you can pinch in and pinch out on your images to readjust them to crop in, crop out, to get the exact look that you're going for. So here you can also see how you get the occlusion for the time. And as you pinch in and pinch out, you can finesse that multi-layer effect to your liking. Now in the initial beta, it wasn't quite clear how you would delete a lock screen. You actually had to tap and hold and then delete. But now on beta two, you simply swipe up, you'll see the little trash can indicator, and then you simply tap it and then tap delete just like that. So that's how you, oh, what's up? What's up Harbor Coat 26? Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for leaving a comment. Appreciate you guys and all your support. Now let's talk about the updated lock screen wallpaper configuration experience. So once you set the wallpaper by tapping done, you'll now see this little guy right here asking you, do you want to set it as a wallpaper pair or do you want to set it separately from the home screen? So you can see if you set it separately from the home screen, you can go in and customize the home screen independently of the lock screen wallpaper. You can even choose a whole different image. You can choose a gradient background. You can choose a solid color background, etc. So that's a nice feature makes it a little bit more clear that the lock screen and the home screen wallpaper are indeed different. Now there's also an updated perspective zoom setting. So now you'll see it just says perspective zoom, whereas on the previous beta, it says enable perspective zoom, but it wasn't as clear as it could have been to let you know when it was enabled or disabled, but now you actually have a little checkbox or a check mark next to it. The also new astronomy lock screens with earth and earth detail have been updated to show your actual location with the little green dot on the screen. So that will show where you're located, even in earth detail, you'll see an even closer representation of where you are. Now, if you swipe over to the moon, there is no green dot. If you see a green dot on the moon, call me. All right, so there's more lock screen background color options in beta two. So if we go in and customize the background color, let's compare beta one to beta two. You can see a whole new row of closer to grayscale color. So you have black, white, gray, you have a sort of a greenish color, but they're, they're definitely more subdued. Now there's also an updated color picker icon in the upper left-hand corner of the background color picker. So you can see that right there. So same color picker interface, but different icon. And there's updated lights and outlets text for your home screen lights and outlet widget. So you see lights and outlets here lights and switches on the previous beta and updated wallpaper preferences in the settings. So if you go to settings and you go to wallpaper, you'll find the updated interface where you have a couple of customized buttons. You have the little plus button by add new wallpaper. So it just makes it a little clear as to what you can do here. So you can either a customize current wallpaper or B add a new wallpaper. So if you add a new wallpaper, it'll bring up the wallpaper gallery. If you customize, it'll bring up the current wallpaper, and then you can go in there, customize widgets, perspective, zoom, colors, etc. So you can do the same thing for the home screen as well. So you tap customize current, customize current wallpaper, do that. You can go in, change the background, legibility blur. You can make it a gradient or a solid color or add a brand new image outright. Now here it is compared to beta one, and you can see the difference there between beta one and beta two. 
So a little bit clearer on beta two, still needs some work though. Now there is an updated subscription page. This isn't exclusively an iOS 16 beta feature. This is a server side update that Apple pushed out recently with a redesigned subscription interface. So we're gonna tap one of our active subscriptions. You can see how much I'm paying monthly, when it actually renews, an easy way to cancel, of course, and then the ability to quickly see all plans right here from this page, so you can easily switch between the two. And in developer beta two, you'll notice a tweak background removal animation when long pressing on an image. So notice the animation here when I long press, see that? So it looks a little bit different than it did on the previous beta. Now, one of my favorite new features is Quick Note in iOS 16 for the iPhone. It is just an amazing feature to quickly take a note anywhere, wherever you happen to be. You can even link notes to other areas around the operating system. But notice now when you take a screenshot and you tap done, what option you get now? Save to Quick Note. So you can now save a screenshot directly to a Quick Note, add text for context, and then save that, and then access that Quick Note at a later time. It also has a timestamp. So let's go into the notes app, go into our quick notes, and then find the quick note with the screenshot that we just added. This is a super nice feature in iOS 16. Now in beta two, you get an updated dictation sound effect. So the dictation sound effect is new. What do you guys think? I think it sounds pretty cool. There's also a new feature to report junk messages to your carrier upon deletion. So I tab delete here. You can report this conversation as junk by sending it to Apple and T-Mobile from your mobile phone number. Now I'm running a dual SIM on my iPhone. You can tell by the two signal bars there. Now what's cool in beta two, if you tap the ellipsis in the messages app, you can now filter those messages by your phone line. So if you have dual SIM set up on your phone, you can choose to show messages from a single line at a time. That is so handy. So I can switch between personal and then I can switch between business just like that. Now, if you edit a message in the messages app to a recipient that's running an older version of iOS pre iOS 16, when doing so from iOS 16 beta two, notice what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this message, send it. Now the recipient gets a message saying that it was edited with the new text in quotes. And iOS 16 beta two now supports iCloud backups via cellular. So if you go to settings, iCloud, iCloud backup, you have this new switch backup over cellular. Just beware because these backups tend to be fairly large. Now the weather app gets precipitation type. So you can see here in Atlanta, it's raining. If I go into the weather details, select precipitation. Now you can see the actual type. So in this case, it's raining, of course, but you also have sleet, snow, etc. Now you can swipe to scrub in the default video player, just like this. So you simply swipe your finger and it scrubs based on the momentum of your swipe. Now in beta two, you'll notice an updated Apple cash interface. You now have a send or request button instead of two separate buttons. So when I tap that, I can choose my recipient and now I'll have the two separate buttons on the actual money page. Previously, you had request and send separately at the outset. Now let's briefly talk about some Safari changes that I think are new for a beta two. So if you go into your shared tab group, you'll actually now see the avatars of all those involved within that shared. Now that replaces just the generic sharing icon that appears in the upper right hand corner on beta one. Now you also have the option of copying the link of a shared tab group. And I think this is new as well. So if you go into manage, you'll see a, a new copy link option. So we'll go ahead and just do that. And I'll go ahead and send that link and then tap on the link and it'll open up that shared tab group directly from that link. And there's an adding people option in the shared tab groups permissions. So if you go into shared options, you'll see adding people. Anyone can add people or only you can add people. And this one's really cool. Now you have the ability to set up Apple watch face based on your focus mode. So here under do not disturb. Now you'll see in addition to your lock screen, your home screen, you now can choose your watch face for the focus mode. So do not disturb. I like to breathe when I don't want to be disturbed. So I'll just set breathe, tap done. And whenever I invoke do not disturb on my phone, I get the breathe watch face. So folks, what do you think about the changes and features in iOS 16 developer beta two? 
let me know down below in the comments. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out my iOS 16 initial walkthrough featuring over 350 features and changes over two and a half hours. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.